Black Girl Nerds. Better shake your booties for Black Girl Nerds. All right, yeah, I watched all of the videos, and I got questions. Lots of questions. <laughs> well, we got answers. Uh, which videos? I know. I know, right? I'm, like, question. Wait, wait, I'm sorry, not the videos, the podcast, duh. Okay. Oh, <laughs> okay. All right. Okay, I told you I'm not awake. But anyway, um, first of all, I need to know, um, how did this whole deal with iHeart and Shondaland come about? If you guys could just explain it, whoever wants to start. Uh, it was a dream. <laughs> <laughs> but it kind of was. We were... Uh... We went on a, a writer's retreat to Big Bear together, and we just ah. like, let's, let's get away. And we were talking, I think, about birth control. We were all like, whoa, we have such different opinions, and like, there's so much that we would love to talk about, and we're like, we should do a podcast. Yeah. Um, and we shopped it around to a couple different places, and then our team set us up with a meeting at Shondaland over Zoom. Okay. You know, pitching is is on the internet now, and yeah. it just really meshed. So, no, oh, that's really great. Yeah, I don't know, guys. Are there? Did I miss something? I'm like, and then yeah, anyone want to chime in about Carrie Washington and Viola Davis when they like hit us up? Uh, they hit up Shonda Rhimes. Oh yeah, that part. <laughs> and they were like, "Girls, look, we gonna hook it up, y'all." <laughs> <laughs> Okay. Yeah, we did really want to create a space. And it's weird how the timing worked out because before Corona shut down our live show, which was really kind of the culmination of like bringing all kinds of people from all over LA together. And um, if you ask anybody who ever came to that show, it was really a cultural moment in LA. Um, and once we realized well, we had already pitched a podcast, but after that was also gone, it was like, okay, let's go around with this again. And Shondaland asked to meet with us. And I know I was like, what? Like, are, are you sure? Um, and they were really sure. They were like, the call was like, vibes. Like, you know, those conversations where you're like, oh, this feels like the pieces of the puzzle fitting together. That's how we felt when we got off. So for them to reach out and want to work with us, um, that was a really awesome moment. Yeah, yeah, it would be awesome for most people. It's like, sheesh. <laughs> <laughs> I think I left out that we, the podcast, we see it as us kind of doing the quarantine version of our show and like giving people the chance to still come hang out with us. Just like Ashley says in our ad, in your shower, in you, <laughs> wherever you listen to your yeah. podcast. Yeah, no, I mean, your comic timing is is still what it is, you know, and I assume that that's because of the improv background and um, especially working with Groundlings and uh, was it Upright Citizens Brigade, which I know about because I have gone to some of those shows. And so, um, yeah, I mean, it's, it's great. It's like you guys are still doing that, but you're making it more personal. Uh, anybody want to talk about that? how you guys just come up with this stuff to talk about, to discuss on the podcast? I feel like a lot of it comes from us knowing each other now for so long. And in doing improv, we are always sharing something about our perspective and about our truth. And it's like, oh, girl, that's what you believe? <laughs> I didn't know, you know, you wouldn't take birth control. Going back to Yasmin's uh, birth control uh, moment, it's like we were all just, we're all just so different. Um, but when we come together, there's a certain chemistry. Uh, we don't really know what it is, but we see people tell us about it all the time. Um, and I think that just our lived experiences and how different our backgrounds are, we come together and we find that we have so many different perspectives on topics that I think uh, people want to hear about, like sexuality and religion and uh, cancel culture even. Yeah, okay, okay, yeah, no, that works. Um, there's some stuff that's going on where in the podcast, and it just reminds me of myself and so many other Black women, um, you know, the things that, I mean, like, okay, the cheese Mission thing. accomplished, yes. <laughs> the yeah. cheese thing, the mac and cheese. The cheese thing, you know, it's like, uh, 
having, I mean, I love cheese too. I was just, I used to demonstrate cheese, but that's a whole nother story. That's not my, your story. So, <laughs> but you talk about it in the podcast and you talk about a whole lot of things that each one of you has to explain because of your different backgrounds and because of all these perceived notions. I'm getting, I'm going from cheese to stereotyping, but you know, I was wondering if you guys wanted to talk about how you bring that together and make all of us feel like we're, we're you and you know, it, it, I myself and so many other black women. I think a huge part of it is just kind of being unfiltered and honest in our conversations. Um, the way we come up with subjects is really just what we want to talk about and what we think. If we were having a dinner party, what would we talk about at the table Co types of conversations? And I think the way that the reason that it feels um, or I've heard people say like, I feel like I'm friends with you or like I'm walking down the street and it's like, I'm laughing like we're all friends. Um, I think that's because we are all so different and relatable in different ways. And if you are talking to a friend and they have a differing opinion than you, that might open your eyes to something that you never heard before. Or uh, even if you don't agree necessarily, you might be like, oh, that's, that's just like on a different planet than I would ever think. But wow, I didn't know you thought that. There's something about that that makes people feel very connected. Um, and we're not trying to put on airs or like act like <laughs> we're the queen of England or something. So yeah, it's like literally come kick back with us and let's chat is mm -hmm. the vibe that we are going for. Yeah, yeah, and you get it really. Um, so you don't really have to do any kind of research on what you're talking about because it's all coming organically. We do some, especially if it's a topic. Shakira, do you want, sorry. Yeah, no, no, some subjects uh, we do a little research on just so we, I mean, we all pull from what we know and then we also, you know, make sure we're informed if we're talking about something that we don't know a ton about. Um, mm -hmm. But a lot of the subjects, especially the ones that we've released thus far, like in regards to hair or um, what stereotyping, I think we'll read articles just like to see what other uh, stats there are on how much money black women spend on their hair. So we just have a you know foundation to go off of, but overall we, we pull from ourselves too. So. Yeah, we didn't have to research um, how to do black hair. Yeah. We have <laughs> quite a bit of experience in that field. But it, yeah. it was really cool. Like one of the episodes we did was on colorism. And I know that was like a particularly tough episode for me because I didn't even realize that I uh, was light skin. So I've just been like walking through the world. You know what I mean? And there's, you know, so much I'm really grateful to have this space to grow and learn more and uh, to sort of push, push myself in some of these conversations, you know. Um, part of the trucks driving by. Uh, but yeah, like some of the episodes are a bit more in depth and are a bit more sensitive. And so we made sure that we're, you know, we all watched the, you know, the Oprah doc, for example, you know what I mean? And uh, it's actually kind of fun to uh, kiki afterwards and like break it down and be like, this is what I got from it. And this is what, you know, Kara yeah. and Ash and Mommy got from it, you know? So. And then for, you know, even more intense subjects, we have the guest. So yeah, now they get an expert opinion on something that we all want to know about and all want to learn from and talk and discuss. So yeah, like the therapy episode, we invited Brande Dorn, who's both my therapist and Kira's therapist. And like, yeah, it's like, well, yeah. if we don't have all the answers, let's let's bring on a guest. And then you guys do that thing where you actually give advice. So I guess you guys have to have some, some sort of, you know, backup for that. Is that correct? Pretty much. Yeah, we like we like to give the disclaimer that we are not trained, licensed, or um, authorized in any country or state to give advice, but we're still giving it. Because <laughs> if you think about it, you get advice from your friends. And yeah. I'm assuming most people's friends aren't a therapist, a licensed therapist. Um, but that, that's a huge way to, that our community does therapy within ourselves is by talking to people. And 
you know, I'm not to say I don't, I love therapy. I think everybody should be in therapy if they can, but the, the before therapy, there was talking to your girls. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And with therapy, they're still talking to your girls. True. You, you know, the balance of the two is where I think we meet right in the middle. Yeah. 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 Cool. Um, I would ask you something, and this may be a little bit out of the way, because then just tell me if it's too corny. You can just tell me. But uh, I'm wondering if you guys have ever watched The View and could, okay, good. At least we, have, we got one. But so <laughs> I'm wondering if any of you guys could say in personality who you might be. Oh, my gosh. <laughs> Is that the show Amanda Seals? Uh, no, no, it's with Whoopi show. Goldberg and um, yeah. the cast has changed so much of the year. I know. I know. Sharon Osbourne and is she on it now? No, she's on the the re- the talk. The, Sharon Osbourne. Oh, okay, the well, duh, they're duh. all mixed in. Like, I, wasn't the, Raven like, on the View for a while? Yeah, she was. Okay. She was the young. I only know Whoopi, and I I would love to be Whoopi. Can I be Whoopi? <laughs> And then why would you want to be Whoopi? I feel like she is, um, un- she's just, a, uh, she's got a lot of truth. She's not afraid to say how she feels if it's not a part of uh, what everyone else is, is going with. Um, and I like that. I like the, her audacity and uh, her mouth. <laughs> <laughs> okay. I, right. I was going to take Whoopi, Whoopi, but I'll give it to Ashley. But the, if not Whoopi, I would be Joy Behar, I think. Um, she, I'm definitely not as fiery as her, but I hope one day I get there. <laughs> um, but she just doesn't take any crap from anyone and always comes with the facts. And I think she like expands conversations into a different direction. Um, I just appreciate her unapologetic sense of speaking. Um, I haven't, I don't watch the show, so I'm just looking online at names. I guess I'm Rosie O'Donnell. <laughs> Rosie O'Donnell's on that show now? She was. Way back. Back. In its prime. Way back. Go okay. Head to head oh, with O'Donnell? Elizabeth McCain. Oh, was yeah, it? that's right. She was also way back, but they were great yeah. together. It was, it was Yeah, they were like. I don't know who I am. <laughs> Isn't she like hella? No, you're thinking of Roseanne Barr. Oh, I sure am. <laughs> the the oh, girl, Sunny, the lawyer. Liberal. Sunny. She's funny, she's witty, she's queer. I've been looking oh, at this list. Not, I'm like, uh, there are so many white women. <laughs> I'm not any of them. Ashley Joy Behar is white. Ashley yep. is a little crunk. She's, She's like New Jeff- York white. <laughs> Admittedly, yep. I don't watch it, so I am not. I think, I think Eve was on for a while, but then again, I may be talking about the She's talk. on the talk. She's currently on the talk. Okay. Okay. I would be Eve, actually. That's the wrong show. If we're if we're crossing over, I'm Tamara when she was on. Yasmin is obviously Amanda Seals when she was on. <laughs> <laughs> okay, okay. See, see, that's what I'm saying. You know, I'm like you know, all over the place trying to ask this question. This will be better. I won't mess up on this one. I promise. Uh, <laughs> I wanted to know. Um, I'm going to throw out some some things that you guys have done on the podcast, and I want you guys, if you can, to just tell me what comes into your head, explain it, gives the audience an idea of what you guys talk about. You know, the first thing I want to go to is the hair. So I'm going to say black women hair, hair crushes. (laughs) Oh, okay. Hair crushes. Mine is Khalees. She's fearless. She does, she changes her hair very often. And it's something that I do and something that I had to have to grow into having the power of not being afraid of white people commenting every time my hair was different. Um, and so to see her do it was gave me a little more strength to do it. And I just, I love how creative she is. She has one of my favorite quotes, which is, you can't even probably get inspired until you start. And I have been using that for a lot of things now, so, Khalees. Okay, that's good, yeah, yeah. Anyone else? Mine, Mine oh, go ahead. My hair crush was uh, Amber Rose Gill. I think her curls are goals. I'm like, 
she showed up and like, I just feel like she was a breath of fresh air on Love Island season five. Not to mention I have an actual crush on her, uh, but her curls are popping and I really dug it. I love that she didn't straighten it or feel like she needed to straighten her hair, like just natural, just existing. I yeah, yeah, okay. All right. Um, if no one else, I'm going to go on to something else. Um, what about um, stereotypes? Black women stereotypes. They suck. Um, <laughs> we're not one type of person. We're not a, a character description of a person. So I think a lot of what we talk about is how we're all so different, yet we're all still Black women. And I think a huge part of what we're in the world to do is really define and give people an example that we aren't all the same and we're all beautifully unique in our own way and that's fine. Um, and also the fact that, thank God, we're getting to the point where we can have different types of black women that people are like, oh, we're casting a black woman, Zoe Kravitz is the black woman. Like, mm, okay, yes, she's great, but there are also an array of different types of black women. So, um, yeah, that's my two cents. Okay. Cool. Anyone else? No? Okay. Uh, she um, okay. We have a whole episode on stereotypes. <laughs> we really get into it. But yeah. Yeah. It, yeah. No, I just so went much to that we could say that we might even just take up this whole interview talking about stereotypes. And, you know, I know you have questions too. So. Okay. All right. All right. Um, and the last one uh, would be uh, body image. The last question. Wait at the waiting <laughs> until the end of time. <laughs> oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> I was like, girl, we just go hang out with you all day. What you saying? <laughs> no, no, no. We're wrapping this up. <laughs> <laughs> this is the end. Bed. She's like, this is the end of the interview, not the middle. Oh. Now we're wrapping it up. I just wait to get some ideas. It gives a good uh, sampling of mm -hmm. what you guys do. So, yeah. Um, but anyway, also, I um, wanted to ask you guys anything you want to tell the public about the podcast, about, um, you know, you guys as a group? Uh, I mean, we do um, give advice, um, like you mentioned. So to the public, feel free to send us a letter. If you need advice on anything at all, we uh, we love to, to, to help, okay? <laughs> we try to help. Uh, and I think also just uh, that this podcast is a space for Black women to come hang out and to have the kind of conversations that you only have with your girlfriends. And uh, we want to build a community of people who want to have different conversations or want to you know have open conversations that don't end in <laughs> hate you know we all have different opinions and we also love each other um and so i think uh, making sure that we can foster differing opinions and making sure we're all listening and growing to each other and um knowing again like mommy has said so eloquently that black women are not one thing and you and i think black girl nerd is about that as well you know mm -hmm. we are an array of things. We are nuanced. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Also, oh, you guys vote, yeah. and um, we have some sketches on comedy. Vote, 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 vote. Everybody is voting in this. Get Jackie Lee <laughs> here in LA out of office. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Yes. You can say everything. District attorney is super important, y'all. Vote down the ballot. Okay. <laughs> I was just going to say, I chose to wear my nerdiest sweatshirt um, this morning for you, Deidre. What is um, it? It's a Minnesota girl state, which is government camp, <laughs> which I went to <laughs> in high school, where you run a mock government for a week. It's so nerdy and so fun. <laughs> oh, yeah. I like it. Oh also, I feel like we didn't answer your body image, and that was yes, the episode. We so, um, girls, if you having issues, you're not loving your body, please listen to the episode of You Down because we give you tips on how you can know that you're a bad bitch. Mm -hmm. All right. And my favorite part of that episode, I won't spoil it, but we kind of all went around and gave our bad bitch affirmation, which is like what we say to ourselves in the mirror to hype ourselves. So listen and figure out your bad bitch affirmation. <laughs> mm -hmm. right?
Cool. All right. Thank you so very much, ladies. This was fun. I would love to talk to you more, but gotta go. I know. But thank you all. Uh, I thank love you. the podcast, and it made me feel like I was, you know, like I knew you guys and the whole thing. So that's great. Awesome. So yeah. Mutual. Thank so thank you so much, and thank you, Evan, wherever you are. <laughs> all right. Goodbye. Thank Bye. you. Bye. Better shake your booties for black girl nerds.